Okay, and we're back for another episode of the Taylor Painting Tips videos. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you how to paint bronze or brass on your on your models. It's one of my favourite metal techniques. Um, I seem to use it on almost all of my all of my armies. I managed to squeeze it into a load of my commission painting as well. I absolutely love it. What I particularly like about this method is that I use um, a technique of washing turquoise on to get a verdigris effect. Now, verdigris, if you uh, aren't, aren't familiar with the term, is the way that bronze or brass rusts um, or copper rusts. Um, and it's rather than rusting with an orangey rust that we're used to, it actually rusts with a green or a bluish kind of tinge. Um, anything up to from from blue or green up to white, um, verdigris can can look like, and it's uh, it, it's a really really cool looking effect, um, and it really looks ni nice on your models when you uh, when you pull it off. So the models that I'm going to be using for today's video, again, is bright bronze. Any GW equivalent will be absolutely fine. I'm using turquoise, which is the equivalent of hawk turquoise. Um, or I don't know what the new what the new equivalent is. I think it's Sotec Green, but I might be wrong. Don't go buying Sotec Green without checking that it is similar to Hawk Turquoise before, before. Um, and Agrax Earthshade. And this 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 technique is is really as simple as that. It's just those three paints, and that's what I found. Is all you need. So the first stage is to get a really nice solid base coat of your brass down. Two coats is usually better than one, or two coats is always better than one, so don't go slapping it on really thick to begin with. Much better off painting one on, letting it dry, and putting another coat on later. If you're batch painting, it won't take any longer at all. Let's pop another coat of uh, brass down. Okay, so that coat of brass is all dry. Um, as you can see, we've got a nice solid coat, and that comes from doing two thin coats rather than one thick. Now the next stage is just Agrax Earthshade and it's just a case of lathering it on. Um, no need to be neat with this one. If you want it really dark, really dark bronze, then two coats. Otherwise, if you just want a kind of medium level bronze, I would just stick with the one. For today, I'm just going to stick with one. So the Agrax Earthshade is dried. The next step to move on to is, uh, is painting the verdigris. So um, if I spin my my palette round you can sort of see where I'm going to be applying this colour so I'm going to get a give my uh, purple a good shake purple I meant turquoise pop a bit on my palette there now really what you want to be watering this down is sort of um, 75 25 so I've got a really big dollop of water there and I'm going to take a tiny bit of this per this turquoise so this is probably something like like I say 20 75 25 um, water to turquoise and you're going to be applying this as more of a targeted wash so rather than just slapping it on all over the model get a nice amount on your um, on a brush and then you're going to be painting it onto the specific areas that you want it to settle in now it's pooling a little bit at the moment, but don't worry about that. Just just get some of it down, and then you can you can drag it around in a minute. Now, if you rinse your brush off, you can uh, you can pull this washed away where you want it to be. So there we go, that's the sort of verdigris effect. Now obviously that's quite a quite a full on effect. Um, if you're doing it on your own models, you may, may want to target less areas, you know, maybe only do it on the panels or something like that. Um, but I've gone a bit overboard just to show the effect off. If you want to make the verdigris even more obvious, um, you can go a step further than this. Like, to be honest, on my ogres, I left it at that. I just did a simple out of the pot um, wash of the turquoise on. If you want to make it really obvious, you can mix in some white. So I've got some Games Workshop um, Skull White.
mix a tiny amount of white into your into your wash. You probably need a little bit more water in there as well to compensate. And then this time you can almost you can actually highlight your wash if that makes sense. So even more targeted in all the same regions but with even less paint on your brush. You can carefully add in the brighter turquoise. And there we go. Now that final wash is dry, you've got a really, really obvious verdigris effect on your uh, on your bronze there. I absolutely love this effect. I think it looks fantastic. Turquoise particularly complements purple. So if you're painting your army purple and uh, and using brass, uh, I find purple brass and turquoise work absolute wonders together. Um, cream can work really well with this technique as well. So I'll uh, I'll show you the uh, the other two shields side by side, so um, you can get an idea for the, the three different effects. That I've uh, I've covered in the in the metal painting so far. So on the right hand side, you've got the really dark gunmetal uh, one that I did in the previous video. Obviously, in the centre, the one that we've just done, and on the left, it was the the bright gold method uh, that we looked at before using the purple glazes as well. So hopefully, those three those three painting videos have been useful. They're all going to be going out separately. Um, if you want to give me any feedback, you can catch me on Twitter. It's at John underscore Kerr underscore T4G. You can email us, telefourgeeks at gmail.com, and you can check out the website, www.telefourgeeks.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.